Welcome to the Blunt Pundit, where I speak my mind and you can say yours. Like I always say, lovers will be lovers, haters will be haters. If you love me, I love the idea. If you hate me, well, life is too short for hatred. Let's get right into it. Paul Pogba, what in the world were you doing on Saturday? You were trudging along the pitch like you're on holiday. You were literally walking most of the times. You lose the ball, you don't tackle. You weren't defending properly. You weren't attacking. You were trying flicks that were not making sense. Look, I'm not here to roast you, but man, I just need to talk about you. Because I'm allergic to bad football. I'm not a match that fan, everyone knows that. But seriously, guys, if you pay 89 million to get a player, you expect the world from him, isn't it? Okay, do you know what? Let's even do a small calculation. 89 million pounds is enough to feed 11,000 people in a year in the UK. It's also enough to feed 15,000 people in a year in my country, Nigeria. Maybe much of Nigeria should have just used that money for charity. I don't understand. My guy was walking on the pitch as if he owns the pitch. He didn't care. That's appalling to the fans. You need to do something about it, really. I don't know. Were your boots too heavy? Did you, did you have snowshoes on? Because I didn't see no snow on the pitch. Pogba, you need to wake up, man. Prove to the world you are worth 89 million pounds. I know people are going to be saying, oh, Morio, Morio. For crying out loud, there were 11 players on that pitch. The rest of the players were pulling their weight. You should too. Well, if you need some new boots, just let me know. I can save up and give you some new boots. You were literally playing on challenge the whole 90 minutes. And I was like, what in the world is so appalling, guys? Wake up, man. Wake up. Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. My beloved Arsenal. You see, there is no better way to end your weekend than a befitting victory against your arch enemies. You see, that type of victory that gives you the satisfaction of a delicious meal. The type of victory that makes you remember your mama's food. It was so, so, so good. Felt so good. Do you know what? This is what I'm talking about, boys. You get me? You get me? I, sh I should have been a player, but you know, I I'm too old now, so. <laughs> what are we talking about here, guys? We're talking about Arsenal Tottenham. They were nothing against us during the weekend. They were nothing against Arsenal. We were on top of them from the get go. Yes, they had two goals. So what? So what? Torreira, Lucas Torreira, you see, that guy is a definition of small but mighty, that guy can kick Goliath, seriously, mark my words, that guy is shorter than I am, he can kill anything that comes his way, that's how good he is, let's go to the manager, Unai Emery, you can see that the players are literally fighting for him, they're fighting for the players in the squad, the togetherness, the way they the, the, the play together in the dressing room. You can see it on social media. They've got a very good relationship. The master tactician. What he does is unbelievable. I know people have written us off. I wasn't sure about us in the beginning of the season. But this man has changed my mind. And I can stand here and say that any day, any time. You see, Unai Emery has brought so much for the fans to love. In fact, one fan literally said, Una Emery is his dad. Alright, so does Una Emery give you some like a new leaf? Like gives you Mav, Emery's my dad, bro. Emery's my dad, man. <laughs> People used to say Wenger's my dad, fam. Emery's my dad, fam. You see how he's tactically managing games. Yeah. <laughs> nice one of you, Turkish. Don't let your real dad hear you say that though. <laughs> and here is more. So tell me something, I have more here. So um, what do you feel about Una Emery? Do you know what? I love him. He's brought such a culture change to this club, the togetherness, the passion, the fight. Yeah. He's just, uh, what can I say? I'm in love with the guy right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mo, and I totally agree with you on that. There is definitely a culture change. There was this, you know, this, this stilled environment when Asim Venga was around. And it was all down to everything that was going on, you know, bad results and all whatnot. But he's brought a culture change. He's brought something new to the fans. He's brought something new to football. You know, changing formation like three times in a game. How many people do that? Not many. Not many. Anyway, the question here is, do you guys think 
we have what it takes to beat Manchester United this Wednesday. Well, for me, if Pogba is playing the way he's playing, we'll definitely have a chance. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. And one more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. <laughs>